This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. This is Brandalorian here. And today I'm going to be going over my Raid Raptor deck for the March 2024 format. I like this deck. It's fun. It just received some new support recently in the last set, Phantom Nightmare. And um, it's a pretty sneaky deck. I think right now you can probably tier it like tier two, high row, you know, tier two um, placement. Um, it has been performing in some tournaments. I've seen, you know, tops here and there, like top four at some regional events. Um, so what the deck wants to do is you want to, you know, chug out some tower monsters. Um, it did receive a new boss monster, um, which I'm going to, you know, show you guys as well. And uh, stay tuned. Um, after the deck profile, I'm going to go ahead and show off a one card combo so you guys can see and maybe a two card combo so you guys can see what the deck can do. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. We're gonna go ahead and start out with Tribute Lanius. He is the main normal summon of the deck. What he does is um, once per turn during your main phase, you get to go ahead and Foolish Burial a Ray Raptor card. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and send um, the Mimicry uh, Lanius um, from your deck to your hand and that's what you know starts your plays it does have another effect where if you if you destroy a monster or inflict battle damage to a monster you get to go ahead and search for a rank up but we don't really use that effect because we already have searchers for that um, it's mainly just used for the normal summon to send from the deck the next monster we have is the strangle Lanius um, this card is a very 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 good um, extender so what he does is if you control a dark monster um, spoiler alert, the whole deck is dark, so that's that's always going to be live. You summon it from hand, and then also um, if you control another Xyz monster that has a dark material, um, then you get to go ahead and special summon a level 4, I believe, level 4 lower Raid Raptor monster from your graveyard and special summon it. So this is a really good extender. You special summon it from hand, and then it also gets something else if you have um, the Xyz monster on board. You have another really great extender in Fuzzy Lanius. This card says um, if you control another Raid Raptor monster, you get to special summon it from your hand. If it's sent to the graveyard in any way, you search for another Fuzzy. So it replaces itself, which is really good. It special summons from hand, so it extends. And um, yeah, this is a, a really good extender. Um, I know some people are playing um, the Kali Yuga uh, version of the deck. Um, you do not play this in the Cal Yuga deck because um, this locks you also into um, Raid Raptors only. So that that I, I think that kind of shuts off the Cal Yuga plays where I think they go into like the Phantom Knights and stuff like that. So um, this is just a strictly pure Raid Raptor deck, um, which I'm still finding success with. We also play the three Bloom Vulture, another fantastic extender. Um, this card says, if you do not control any face-up monsters other than Wing Beast monsters, the text is a little bit weird on this. It it does include having no monsters on, on board. You get to special summon this and another Raid Raptor from your hand. So this can get two on board quite, quite easily. And that's what allows you to go into like your Xyz place because they're all level fours essentially. This, I also play the uh, three Raiders Wing as well. Raider's Wing is, is fantastic for the deck. Um, what this card is, or what it does rather, is it, it, it allows the Xyz that you make with it to gain the following effect. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. That's great because a lot of your Xyz monsters um, search for things and stuff like that. So having that protection against Imperm, Effect Veiler, and things like that like it it's fantastic so um it allows you to pretty much play um without fear that you're gonna get effect veiler door or imperm because those cards are very prevalent this format uh, like pretty much everyone's playing those cards um now we're gonna go into the two ofs we play the two mimicry now this is the card i was talking about so when you send this with tribute lanius um you get to banish this from your graveyard to search for a raid raptor card from your deck to your hand so this can get any of your um, Raid Raptor monsters, um, as well as like the spells and traps and things like that. So very consistent. Um, it allows you to, you know, grab an extender for say, um, if you need that, um, if you got stopped, you can search for an extender. Um, you can search for 
a key piece later down the combo line so it's really really good this one um i recently cut down from three to two when i was testing it i know um a lot of people say um it, it should be down to one or something like that but um i it still has its uses um you can go ahead and so what it does is it says during your main phase if this card is normal special summon this turn you get to target one raid raptor monster you control add a raid raptor um that's a lower level from it so you essentially if he's on board if he's like your normal summon you normal summon him target himself grab anything that's three or less so um you we don't really, really have two targets in the deck um that are three or less and it only searches those things. So it's not really a great starter. Um, it's a pretty good um, extender later down the combo line. So that's why I only have it down at, at, at two, but um, it's there just for a name, essentially. We do have the Pain Lanius and we have the Heal Eagle. These are the two that you can search with um, the um, the Noir Lanius. So Pain Lanius is, a, is another fairly good extender. It does lock you though, but um, it is needed in some aspects. So. We have here it says that you can target a a uh what is it uh target um you can target one raid raptor monster you control that has a level take damage equal to its attack or defense whichever is lower so a lot of the raid raptors are kind of like weenie so like you target like a fuzzy you take 500 damage and then you summon him he also copies the level of the targeted monster so he's he's essentially a one but he'll he'll be the level that you copied so you have a fuzzy you have him in hand you get to special summon him um and then you have two level fours on board and then you can go into your exes plays he does lock you into wing beast um um except exes monsters of wing beast okay so yeah um cannot be uh, used as an exes material for exes summon except for exes summon of a wing beast monster so it does lock you into the wing beast typing so just be aware of that i've um it, if you've already seen um I did upload a video prior to this one and I I totally forgot about that effect. Um, that was actually the first time that I was playing that deck um, at local, so forgive me, but um, I did make that misplay and I used him and, what was it? I used him and another monster to go into Raider's Knight. And I, yeah, he's not a wing beast, he's a warrior. So be on the lookout for that. Don't, don't make that mistake, but um, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and go into this card. This card is the Honorary Raid Raptor card. Um, it's a Morgue, uh, the Bird of Perfection. What it does is if you normal or special summon a winged beast monster, um, you get to go ahead and reveal him and then immediately normal summon him. So um, again, it's another extender. Um, it's not Raid Raptor name per se, but it does um, flow with the R type and he's dark and he's winged beast. So you can search it off of um, uh, some of your cards that you play. All right, so let's, that's for the monsters. We're gonna go ahead and go for the um, spells. All right, so we have spells. We have the Foolish Burial. Again, it's a one card starter. If you send uh, the, the uh, Mimicry, um, you can start searching for like your Raid Raptor stuff. So um, he's, this is a really good card to start with as well. Um, we have the, um, the Roost and the Nest. I know a lot of people are not playing the Nest, I find it uh, just to be a little bit more consistent. So let's say um, you open your Tribute Lanius, you send the Mimicry, you search, you have an extender, you summon the extender. You can actually play the Raid Raptor's Nest to search for something else um, in the event that the play that you're going to go into gets stopped. So essentially, I look at it like it's another name in your hand. Um, yes, the conditions is you have to have two Raid Raptor um, on field, but that's not really that hard to do. And um, yeah, and if it stays on board, you're just continuously um, a searching and stuff like that. And it's also a pseudo recover as well, because you get to either add a card, um, um, you get to add a Raid Raptor uh, monster from your deck or Graveyard to hand. So you can replenish stuff from the Graveyard back to your hand. So um, it's fantastic. And then Roost as well is another recover card. So what it says is um, you can target three of your Raid Raptor monsters that are banished or in your graveyard, place them in the bottom of your deck in any order, and then draw a card. So it does replenish and draw. So it is better than the nest, but I find that the nest is still needed. Um, so that way um, um, you can extend. And we have the Skip Force and the Raid Raptors uh, Force. These are the, the rank ups that you have. So rank up Magic Skip Force. It lets you go from your Brace Tricks up into the Arsenal Falcon. So it lets you skip two levels. 
Um, so this is essential in the combo. You search this, you only run one of, it's only needed at one, it's fine. And then um, your rise rank up um, force. This card is also searchable. This is what gets you into the big rank 13 towers, which is busted. Um, yeah, so um, this card essentially also has another graveyard effect. You get to banish this and another Raid Raptor from your graveyard, and you get to target one Raid Raptor Aziz monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So that, that comes in handy. Um, that actually saved me a couple of times where I had a, um, what was it? I had a Fuzzy in my grave, Raiders Knight, and a Brace Trix. For some reason, it was like late game. And I banished this, summoned the, um, I summoned the, what is it? The Force Trix. And then I had this set and I just ranked up into the 13th. So this this card is great um, and it saved my butt plenty of times. We have the the trap card, the, the Ray Raptor Glorious Bright. This card is a searchable um, impermanent, I said. Um, it's, it's really good. And um, yeah, not much to say about that. It's searchable imperm. So you play that um, to stop your opponent. Um, we also gonna go into the hand traps now. So, hand traps. We are running the three Ash Blossom. Um, I know most people are cutting it. I've seen people, you know, talk about this. Um, it's not good into, you know, Snake Eyes Ash and you know, Fire King. It, I mean, you leave a fire in your graveyard. You know, they can grab it with the Link Monster, the Hita. I understand that, but you are also gonna play rogue matchups and you have to be prepared for those. If not, then you'll get washed. So I still have it. Um, it does have um, uh, some applications against you know Fire King and stuff like that. So it, I just feel like it's so generic. You have to have it. Um, yeah. Let me know in the comments it, uh, how you guys feel about you know running Ash. Are you guys you know running it? Are you guys kind of cutting it? Um, you know, what's your experience playing it? Also, um, if you guys are buying anything on TCG player, um, you know, please do me a solid and use my affiliation link down in the description. Um, you know, if, if you're already buying stuff, you might as well just help out the channel, help your boy out, please. Um, you know, we're trying to grow the channel, you know, little by little, and that does help immensely. Um, we are also running the two Nibiru, Nibiru. Um, it's it's a blowout against certain matchups. You kind of needed this format um, as well as the droll. I know most people are citing this, but I prefer to main it because in my you know my local area there's a lot of rogue matchups and stuff like that, and um, this can kind of just you know flat out win you a game here or there. So effect veilers as well. You need you know spot um, spot negation, and we run the three and perm as well for the spot negation. So. Um, that's my hand trap lineup. I believe that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve hand trap lineup there. Um, if your deck can run essentially twelve to fifteen hand traps, you're in a really good spot. This is a hand trap meta, so um, yeah, we have to stop your opponent from playing so that way you can play on your turn. And that's just the name of the game of Yu-Gi-Oh right now. So I'm gonna go into the extra deck now. We are running. Why Strix? We need three of them things, as they say, as the young kids say, we need three of them things. Uh, Why Strix, um, he's a Link 2 um, Raid Raptor monster. If this card is Link Summon, you get to special summon a, a Dark Wing Beast monster from your deck to the graveyard, or from the deck to the field, um, but its effects are negated. So what I like to do is I like to use him to summon from deck the Raider's Wing because uh, when I use it as material, um, it gains that effect that it's protected from targeting effects. So that's another way to cheat out the Raider's Wing. And then, um, yeah. And then also if an Xyz monster on the field uses its effect, um, Wise Tricks will actually set one of the rank ups from your deck uh, to the field. So that's why you can actually um, search. Um, actually, it doesn't technically search, it sets. So it actually bypasses Droll. So th this deck plays really well into Droll. Um, Droll doesn't really hurt that much against this deck because we like to set stuff from deck. We get to special summon from deck. So we play around Droll quite easily. We play the three Force Tricks. You need three of these. Um, you go through Wise Tricks and Force Tricks like crazy in this deck, um, but you also have the roost to replenish them back. So 
what this card does is um, it gains 500 attack and defense for each winged beast monster you control. So he can his his defense can get quite big. He's already 2,000, and if he if there's like four monsters on the board that are winged beasts, um, it'll gain another 2,000. So it's at 4,000 defense. So yeah, so that's not what the main you know main effect is. The main effect is once per turn you get to detach one material uh, from this card. You get to add one level four winged beast monster from your deck to your hand. So this is another searcher for any one of your extenders. The whole deck is full of extenders, so you just search one and then you keep going, keep going, keep going. So um, that, that card is a must. We play the two Raider's Knight. Raider's Knight is treated as a Raid Raptor card as well as a Phantom Knight's card. So this card is essential to your combos. What you're going to do is um, you get to detach one and um, special summon a, uh, what is it, a... Raid Raptor, Phantom Knight, or Xyz Dragon, Xyz Monster that is one rank higher than him. So he is a rank four. You get to go into a rank five, uh, Phantom Knight, Raid Raptor, or Xyz Dragon. So what we normally do is go into the Brave Strix. Brave Strix is one of the new cards that came out um, in Phantom Nightmare. It says here that um, this card gains attack equal to, uh, sorry, the a Raid Raptor Xyz monster that has this card as material, it gains the following effect. This card gains attack equal to its rank times 100. So we normally like to have this under the rank 13 because the, the rank 13 would gain 1300 attack on top of its 4000 attack body. So you're looking at a towers that's 53. And yeah, it's that's mostly GG against certain matchups. Um, Rogue decks can't get over that unless they Kaiju. Um, but I don't think anyone's playing Kaijus now. Like, I mean, there's not really a tower, like, boss deck, tier one deck that's actually, uh, you know, re that requires a Kaiju to be played. So, um, yeah, so this card gives it a buff, which makes it even harder for your opponent to attack over it. The other effect th that we're looking at here, it says here, um, so you can detach one material from this card, set one Raid Raptor spell or trap from your deck, um, and then also... The other effect says um, you can detach one material from this card, add one rank up magic spell from your deck to your hand. So essentially, you get to either add the rank up um, or you get to set a Raid Raptor card. So you can either set the, the, the Raid Raptor rank up or you can add the Skip Force. So this, this is very versatile. So it, let's say you opened one, you get to choose the other effect to, um, to get the other one in rotation. We play the Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon. I really only played this guy once in my last locals um doesn't really come up often in the combo but it's there as like a backup if they got rid of your towers you have the other raiders knight in your um in your extra deck you can go into raiders knight summon this guy so what he does is he actually gains the attack of all face up monsters on the field so um yeah he can get quite big and he can just one shot your opponent if your opponent has something that's less than you know 2000 attack or whatever and he's just gonna you know otk and give them the business we have the arsenal falcon and the ultimate falcon so these guys are like a combo you use the skip force on brave tricks to summon him his effect says you can detach a material summon a uh raid raptor from your deck to the field and um the effects are are not negated or anything like that so you can go ahead and activate the effect i've actually done where i've summoned a what was it a strangle and because i control an exist monster i get to um use strangle to special summon a raid raptor from my graveyard and that's another extender it just keeps going and going guys this deck is awesome when this guy is sent from the field to the graveyard in any way you get to use him as exist material and then slap on a raid raptor exist monster from the extra deck i normally go into the ultimate falcon ultimate falcon is insane in this deck there's a choke point where you force your opponent to use nib so you are pretty much nib proof um and i'll show you guys in the combo you know what that looks like but um his effect says um you get to uh detach let's see uh detach one exes material from this card for the rest of the turn all monsters your opponent controls um lose a thousand attack also your opponent's cards and effects cannot be activated so this essentially forces your opponent to either use the nib on this summon or on this summon and by the way, this summon would be summon number five in the combo. So I'll show you guys that. So either way, if they nib you with this guy on the board, you're just going to get this after the nib resolves and you have a towers anyway. Um, or if they nib you after he's summoned, he's unaffected. 
they lose out on using nibs so that's fantastic and if um he has an aziz material um on him during the end phases of both you and your opponent's turn your opponent's monsters lose a thousand attack and if they don't have any monsters they lose a thousand life points so this card could be good in time if you're going first as well so um that that comes up sometimes we play the satellite uh satellite cannon falcon don't really go into him much um i probably went into him like once against um what was it i was playing branded um yeah i was playing my friend uh chris uh, so shout out chris if you're watching but um i play <laughs> that match went for like an hour and 20 minutes oh man that, that that was a struggle um but anyways um so i used this to actually blow up all of his backboard um his back row um that's the only time i actually went into him but i'm thinking about cutting him some people say he's necessary i'm still testing it just to see if i really really do want to cut it or not but um I, I just run the one satellite cannon falcon and then we also run the big raid raptor rising rebellion falcon so this guy is insane so what he does is um he's unaffected by other card effects um, this card, is, if this card is a Z summon, you get to destroy as many monsters your opponent controls as possible. Um, sorry, as many cards as your opponent controls as possible. Then, if this card has three or more Raid Raptor Xyz monsters with different names as material, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the combined original attack of those monsters that were destroyed. So, this guy is insane. He can pretty much summon this on your opponent's turn because the rank up is a quick play. You summon this, you blow up your opponent's whole field, and any monsters that they had, they take damage equal to that. You pass it back to your turn, attack for game because he's 53. So that card is ins this card is insane. It also has another effect. It says you get to um, once per turn you get to detach three materials from this card, target a raid raptor exist monster in your graveyard. This card gains that monster's effects until the end phase. So sometimes that can come up um you know with one of your other um Xyz monsters like if you want to um use the arsenal I, I mean i've seen people do that as well but this card in itself is an otk maker inflict damage to your opponent comes back to you attack for game because mostly i would have the nine times out of ten i have these two on board this is a 35 attacker this is a 4000 attack so attack attack that's already game and yeah so um that's the deck guys let's go ahead and actually go into the combo video so you guys can see what this deck can uh can do all right guys thank you for sticking around uh, we are we made it to the end of the video where i'm going to show you guys the combo we're going to go ahead and start out with our tribute lanius affected tribute lanius we're going to go ahead and send the on um, the mimicry and the mimicry is going to go ahead and banish to special or to search rather i'm sorry search for a fuzzy fuzzy's going to special summon itself because i control another raid raptor we're going to go ahead and exceed those two to go into a raider's knight raider's knight effect is going to go ahead and special to go into our brave brave strix on resolution effect, we're going to activate Fuzzy because it was sent to the graveyard to go ahead and add us another Fuzzy to our hand. This is our hand down here. And then we're going to detach to go ahead and add Skip Force. We're going to activate the Skip Force targeting the Brave Strix. We're going to actually rank up two ranks higher. We're going to go into the Arsenal. All right, so this should be your fifth summon. So we summoned Tribute. We summoned Fuzzy, that's two. We summoned the Raider's Knight, that's three. Brave Strix is four, this is five. So if they nib you here, when this guy is sent to the graveyard, you get to immediately summon um, a Raid Raptor Xyz monster from your extra deck, which you would get the towers anyway. So, and this tower is unaffected. So either way, they're giving you a token and then you're getting the Ultimate Falcon and yeah that's pr that's pretty much going to be game anyway um so um we also activate the effect of arsenal falcon um you get to detach a material we're going to detach the oops let's like to keep the brave strikes under him detach the tribute to go ahead and special let's see who do we like to special summon here
right, we can go ahead and grab Strangle here, Strangle Lanius, Special Summon Strangle Lanius, because I control a dark. Effect of Strangle, because I control an Xyz monster, I get to target one of these, bring it back. Um, now we're going to go ahead and use these two to go into Wise. Oops. We're going to go into Wise Tricks. Now we can go ahead and chain block here. We get to do chain link one to special summon from deck. Chain link two, because this was sent, it'll get sent here as material. All right. And then Y Strix is gonna go ahead and resolve as chain link one. All right, we summon the Raider's Wing. So this is what I was talking about. You summon the Raider's Wing off of Y's. Its effects on field are negated, but it doesn't negate the effect when um, it's used as material. So. It'll give the, the Xyz monster that you summon um, that targeting protection. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The Ultimate Falcon, you get to detach now to make sure that your opponent cannot activate any cards or effects for the rest of the turn. So from this point forward, you're free to play. You essentially, that was only a one card combo, so you still have four cards in your hand, as well as the fuzzy that you added. So yeah, this is a extremely, extremely crazy here. So now we're gonna go ahead and overlay these two. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed the uh, thing here. So once you detach, your opponent cannot activate any cards for the rest of the turn. Then Wise Tricks effects activate to go ahead and set. You're gonna go ahead and set your other rank up, which is the one that gets you into the rank 13. Now you overlay. You're gonna go ahead and go into the four Strix. Four Strix, detach the strangle. You are going to go ahead and search. I like to normally search for follow-up. If you don't already have a Tribute Lanius for the next turn, um, you can go ahead and, and search him. If not, if you already have one, you can go ahead and search for the Bloom. The Bloom is another great extender. If you have um, some more names in your hand, you get to special summon him and another name. So that's another um, you know way of looking at it. So automatically, he's the Bloom is already going to you know summon him and the Fuzzy, if anything. Um, okay, and then on this, you can go ahead and pass your turn as well. Um, you know, hopefully you you know have some some hand traps in your hand as well to go ahead and combat your opponent. So what you do is, on your opponent's turn, they have to deal with the towers, a Y Strix and a Four Strix here. Um, I mean, you you also could extend as well, guys, because if your opponent, if you know your opponent is on Super Poly, don't pass yet. Activate Bloom summon these two then go into another four strix because mostly their super poly targets are going to be i think most people are playing um the mud dragon fusion as well as the um the garua so i think with both of those you can't use the same names so the most they can super poly is just these two here you still have another four strix to use for the rank up and then you get to blow your opponent's field up so you can do that as well um, if you're, if you don't fear the, uh, on the super poly, um, if, if you're not playing like a branded deck or something like that, you're playing a fire King, you can essentially just, um, not leave or, or save this for, uh, for your follow-up. Um, but essentially, yeah. So that's what the combo is. You, you summon there, uh, the, for, the raid Raptors four Strix, uh, and then you go into your rank 13 by using the two cards from the graveyard and one card on field. You go into the big guy, activate the effect on summon to blow up your opponent's entire field. They take damage. Now they have to contest a 53 towers, a 35 towers, and a weenie 14. But you have these two cards as well as four other cards in hand. Hopefully some other hand traps to stop your opponent. They pass to you, attack for game, extend the handshake, and it's GG. So... Guys, this is a really fun deck, this format. I am really, really enjoy playing it. Um, let me know if you guys are playing, you know, Raid Raptors, or if you guys want to give it a try. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's really, really fun, and I'm having a blast with it. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in today. This is Brandalorian signing out. Um, again, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, I really appreciate the growth. Um, I've, we're now at, what, uh, 445 subscribers? That's amazing. Um, it's all thanks to you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Um, this is Brandon Lauren signing out. And remember, this is the way.